Our hopes is, uh, well, our hope is that they're able to uh, have a government that represents their sentiments and their thoughts and their aspirations for the future. And uh, certainly, Mubarak and his uh, Western backers are not that representation, basically. We have seen over the last two weeks, the last week or so, images, events, uprisings that have moved the hearts, that have inclined the eyes to tear, that have made our tongues unknowing what to speak, what to say, to become speechless. We have seen the brave Muslims in Tunisia, in Egypt, in Yemen, in Jordan, and in other parts of the Muslim world rise up, remove the shackles of fear and stand in the face of tyranny. A noble uprising, a praiseworthy uprising which we stand here today to support. They did not want you. They did not want your genie all upon you. They did not want your interfering masters who pull the strings and line your pockets. They did not want your man in America constitution or your man in Europe constitution. They want the constitution of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For in their heart and on their lips they call. And so we tell those colonialists and those who are those who far who have divided this ummah into 55 Muslim countries and we'd be happy to make this number 100. We tell them that this division is only temporary, that this division is only artificial and that this division will never keep the 